Hey guys, you are welcome back. This is the swim part of our uh, Hamo Princess Darts. So I've cut the fabric with my pattern. So I added all the necessary allowance. Here I had a 0.5 and here one inch for the zip allowance and the side is two inches, 0.5 for the rest. So this is the front. I added two inches at the side, then 0.5 to the rest. Then the center front, I cut the center front on fold, as you can see, I cut it on fold. Then added 0.5 to the rest, I added my interfacing, just like the way you are seeing it. Then I cut the lining the same way I cut the fabric. So, that's that. Then, I'm going to go ahead and join it. Then if you want to join it, you hold it this way. You hold it okay. Let me take this one out. So you hold it, you make the right side to be facing each other, just like this way. Then you pin it down. Your pin is very in, important for you to pin it down. I've pinned it, I've sewn one of the busts. So the second side is the second side. Right side will be facing the right side. Just the way I'm holding it. Then I'm going to sew from the down part. But before that, I will pin it first. It's very important to pin it so that when you are, especially in the coffee area, when you are sewing it, it will not give you difficulties in sewing. It's very important to sew it. Then I'm notching it. Just to make that place to relax. It's a curvy area. We are, you have to notch it. This has been working for me. This is how I do it. Once I notch it before sewing it, then it makes it to be more relaxed. After pinning it, I notch it this way. Then, can you see? It, it is more relaxed now than just for you to go straight and sew it. So I'm going to sew it from the hem, from the hem up, upward. I'll sew it from the hem upward, just like this, okay? The pin is still there. Don't remove the pin until you sew it finish. So just the way you see me doing it, just do your own. I've sewn it, can you see it's coming out well? It's coming out very well and it's easy to sew. That's the importance of the pin. It's happy to sew straight up. So this is the back. I want to join the side. Right side will also, also face the right side. Just like this. Then I'll put the smaller one. I'll put it on the bigger one to face each other this way just like this then sew it upward from the hem always sew your always join it from the hem from the hem it is very important so i will join it to the up to the ham hole Just like this. You sew it gently. You don't need to rush. So that you can have a perfect seam line. So. This is it. This is it. I've done that. I'll, I've joined the lining as well. So the same way I join the fabric, just go ahead and do the same with the lining. So I've done that. I want to extend the neckline. I want to cut the neckline here. At the neck, I'm going out by two. Then the width, I'm coming down by 1.5. 1.5. You know, we have the basic neckline there. So I've cut it out. And I will do the same with the lining the lining as well so this is the back 
I went in by at the neck by two, then at the the down is 1.5. So I want to go ahead and sew it now from the neckline, then I decide to to turn it with the lining. I will do that now. The same thing I will do with the front. So I will do I will put the lining and sew it just like this. The right side will face the right side. So I will go ahead and sew the the neckline first. Make sure you pin it as well. You pin it as a beginner. I always learn to pin your seam line. Then I will sew the side too with a quarter of an inch just to turn it inside for a neat finishing. So I've done that. I've ironed it. Everything is looking very well. Everything is coming out well. I've turned the lining, the neckline. I've done that. So I'll go ahead and join the shoulder now. And I will insert the zip. I will join the side with two inches that I had it earlier. Two inches. I will use it to join the side. Then insert my zipper. Right now, I've installed the zipper. I've joined the size. Everything is looking beautiful and it came out very beautiful. As you can see, the bust, everything is looking fine. So the next thing I'm going to do is to, anyway, um, just for you to make the choice of the down part. I'll go ahead. I want to make a pleat at the down part. It's the peplum top. I'll make a pleat at the down. Then fix the Z um the sleeve anyway. So you can make yours to you can make it pencil a line. Just the upper part is the main job, which we have done and I've shown you. This is it. So I'll fix the sleeve, fix the rest, then the peplum as well wow this is really looking nice everything is on point even me i'm feeling myself the chest the neckline the bust the under bust just take a look at the back the zipper at the back the sleeve everything on point so guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel like and share the video bye, bye.